Have you ever wondered about the origins of the majestic Temple Mountains in Siem Reap, Cambodia? The answer lies in the fascinating history of the Bakong Temple. Standing proudly in the Rolus area, near Siem Reap, Bakong is a popular Angkorian temple mountain that commands awe and respect. As the first temple mountain or steppe pyramid structure of the Khmer period, it is dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. This grand structure is the largest of all the temples in Rolus and boasts unique, five-tier central pyramids and eight intricately carved temple towers. These features not only showcase the architectural brilliance of the Khmer period, but also serve as a testament to the grandeur of the ancient civilization. The Bakong Temple is a gateway to the past, offering visitors a glimpse into the rich history and cultural heritage of Cambodia. Now, let's delve into the rich history and cultural significance of this architectural marvel. The history of Bakong Temple takes us back to the early 9th century during the reign of King Indravarman I. His vision was to create a temple mountain that would surpass anything seen before, a structure that would not only serve as a place of worship, but also stand as a symbol of the Khmer Empire's might and sophistication. King Indravarman I had a grand vision for his kingdom and its spiritual center. He wanted to create a temple that would be a representation of Mount Meru, the home of the gods in Hindu mythology. Bakong was to be the first of its kind, a temple mountain or steppe pyramid dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. The temple was built just decades after the previous emperor had established his capital in the ancient city of Hariharalaya. This was a time of great change and development for the Khmer Empire, and the construction of Bakong was a significant milestone in this journey. The design of Bakong was not merely an aesthetic choice, it was an embodiment of the empire's spiritual beliefs and cosmological views. The temple was built as a representation of the Hindu universe, with its five-tiered pyramid symbolizing the sacred Mount Meru and the surrounding moat representing the ocean surrounding the world. But Bakong was more than just a spiritual center. It also served as a state temple with a sanatorium dedicated to Lord Shiva. This was a place where the empire's most significant rituals and ceremonies were performed, and it played a crucial role in the political and religious life of the Khmer Empire. The Bakong Temple was one of the first structures to be constructed out of sandstone, a material that would become a hallmark of Khmer architecture. Its innovative design and construction techniques laid the groundwork for the many temple mountains that would follow, making it a prototype for future Khmer temples. The Bakong Temple, thus, stands as a testament to the early architectural prowess of the Khmer Empire. It is a symbol of the Empire's spiritual beliefs, its political power, and its innovative architectural techniques. And even today, it continues to inspire and fascinate those who visit it. The architectural brilliance of Bakong Temple has not only left a mark on Cambodia, but has also influenced structures far and wide. One such influence can be traced to the Borobudur Temple in Java, Indonesia. The striking resemblances between these two structures are hard to ignore. Both temples feature extensive use of sandstone, elaborately carved columns, bas-reliefs, and grandly decorated temple tiers. Historians believe that the architecture of Bakong Temple was inspired by the king's previous residence in Java, thus infusing elements of Indonesian architecture into the Khmer period. But the impact of Bakong's architecture didn't stop there. It went on to influence the design of one of the most monumental structures of the Khmer Empire, Angkor Wat. The grandeur of Bakong's design is mirrored in the architectural elements of Angkor Wat. The exterior patterns of large outer enclosures surrounded by moats and causeways with Naga heads all bear striking similarities to the Bakong Temple. It's not just Angkor Wat that shows Bakong's architectural influence. The other structures within the Angkor Archaeological Park also reflect the design elements of Bakong. This temple, therefore, served as a blueprint for many architectural marvels that followed, reinforcing its importance and influence during the Khmer period. The Bakong Temple showcases a unique blend of architectural styles, reflecting the cultural exchange between Cambodia and Indonesia during the 9th century. Its influence on Angkor Wat and other Khmer structures underscores the temple's architectural brilliance and its pivotal role in shaping the architectural landscape of the Khmer period. 
The Bakong Temple, therefore, played a pivotal role in shaping the architectural landscape of the Khmer period. The architecture of Bakong Temple is a wonder in itself, reflecting the grandeur of the Khmer Empire. This remarkable edifice, a testament to the architectural prowess of the Khmer period, remains an awe-inspiring sight even today. A closer look at the Bakong Temple reveals an intricate design, comprising a series of concentric enclosures separated by moats. The outermost moat, now partially visible, once served as a formidable barrier, enhancing the temple's grandeur. Within this outer moat lay another, smaller one, the remnants of which can still be seen today. Access to the temple was provided through a causeway, flanked by two seven-headed nagas, a classic feature of Khmer architecture symbolizing the sacred serpents of Hindu mythology. The inner enclosure of Bakong Temple, now a ruin, was once a bustling complex with four majestic entrance gates, or gopurams, each facing a cardinal direction. These gopurams were not mere entrances, but substantial structures in their own right, each bearing intricate carvings and decorations. Apart from the main temple complex, this inner enclosure also housed two smaller temples and six other structures, all of which are now in ruins. Three other buildings, believed to have served administrative purposes, also stood within this enclosure. Moving deeper into the temple, we come across the central structure, a temple mountain, surrounded by eight brick towers. These towers are not randomly placed, rather they are arranged symmetrically, each dedicated to one of the eight aspects of Lord Shiva. The tower's lintels and sandstone columns are adorned with intricate carvings, a testament to the craftsmanship of the Khmer artisans. At the heart of the Bakong Temple lies the five-tiered pyramid structure, a representation of the sacred Mount Meru, the abode of the gods in Hindu mythology. Each tier is symbolic, representing Nagas, Garudas, demons, spirits, and gods, reflecting the rich tapestry of Hindu mythology and the Khmer people's deep-rooted belief system. Guarding this central structure are four lion statues and statues of elephants, both symbolizing protection against enemy forces. These statues are not merely decorative but serve a higher purpose, embodying the Khmer Empire's strength and resilience. The steps leading up to these statues further accentuate the pyramid structure's height, enhancing its commanding presence. The Bakong Temple, with its elaborate layout, intricate carvings, and symbolic representations, is a marvel of Khmer architecture. It is not just a temple, but a representation of a cosmos, a physical manifestation of the Khmer Empire's spiritual and cultural beliefs. Each stone, each carving, each statue tells a story, weaving together a narrative of a civilization that once thrived in this land. Indeed, the Bakong Temple is more than just a structure of stone and mortar. It is a testament to the architectural brilliance of the Khmer period, a symbol of a glorious past, and a beacon of cultural heritage for future generations. In every stone and carving, Bakong Temple embodies the spirit of the Khmer Empire, standing as a symbol of its glorious past. From its historical significance to its architectural influence and grand design, Bakong Temple truly is an architectural gem. As the first temple mountain of the Khmer period, Bakong set a precedent for future architectural projects, its design echoing in the grand structures of Angkor Wat and beyond. Its five-tier central pyramid, eight intricately carved temple towers, and bas-reliefs all stand as testaments to the architectural brilliance of the Khmer period. This remarkable structure, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, served as a prototype for temple mountains and functioned as a state temple with a sanatorium. Furthermore, Bakong's architectural resemblance to the Borobudur Temple in Java, Indonesia, underscores the historical connections and cultural exchanges between these ancient civilizations. So next time you find yourself marveling at the grand structures of Siem Reap, remember the Bakong Temple, the origin of this architectural brilliance.